there, food philosophers. Well, the cold weather has set in here on the East Coast, and normally that means we head for some comfort foods like sausage and potatoes and those, those wonderful winter dishes. And we discovered that there are actually white wines from southwestern France that go with those. Now, normally you would think of reds as a natural pairing, but I had a chance to speak with Bobby Catcher from Bobby Catcher Imports, and he has got some amazing wines from a, a vineyard called Tariquet. So let's see what he has to say about that. And don't forget, this episode is sponsored by Hamilton Beach and their Eclectrics line of small appliances. Go to hamiltonbeach.com to learn more. Well, today we're exploring a little and unexpected taste of Gascony in France. I'm here with Bobby Ketcher from Robert Ketcher Imports. And you are so much more than a wine importer, as we've learned today. There is. There is something of the storyteller about you, and you clearly have a passion for these white wines coming out of Gascogne. So tell us where that passion comes from. Well, it's not particularly a passion for white wine only, but um, in Gascogne, when you discover people like Yves Grassa and the Domaine de Terrique, uh, you know when you've arrived that you've met some special people, and they attracted me to the whole concept of how they wanted to vinify wine. They had an objective. They had a goal to achieve freshness and beauty, and uh, it was very easy and very visible to see that this was worth the time. Sure. Well, and I think what's, what's an unexpected pleasure here is that most of the time, when you think of, of southwestern French cuisine, you know, it's that comfort food, you're expecting big red wines with it because you're getting sausage and, and pheasant and, and things like that. So this is an unexpected... Um, approach to pairing food and wine using whites. So how have you guys come to that place? Because it's really, you're kind of up against a little bit of a psychological barrier there pairing this with Southwestern food. Well, I think uh, today's lunch was very special and uh, Ariane's uh, cuisine was mostly done with white meats. So we the did do, meats, right? the, we did the white meats and sure. uh, uh, although they're rich, these wines have magnificent acidity. So they have weight as well, but that freshness um, worked with the white meat foods and the foie gras course that we did first was not pure foie gras, it was sliced with apples and citrus which made it balanced and I thought it really played off very well. Apparently everybody loved it. So Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, you know, it was interesting to see, again, these, these pairings because I never would have thought to pair foie gras with a white except for something like a sauterne. So to see that there are possibilities beyond just reds in, in all of these hearty dishes uh, is wonderful. And you've really run the gamut here of um, acidic and mineralic profiles in terms of what you're offering in this collection. So tell us a little bit about how you developed it with Yves Grasa. Well, um, again, Grasso was um, a, a producer of great Armagnac in the beginning, so all the varieties they had planted were, were white. And when Eve restructured the vineyards back around 30 years ago when I first arrived, his whole objective was to take these white varieties, emphasize fruit, and nothing else but fruit. Fruit, fruit, minerality, freshness, purity. He came up with a technology that he could harvest his fruit, protect it from oxidation from the start to the finish, all the vineyards are owned by Grasa. So when you own all the vineyards, you begin in the vineyard with viticulture right. that controls each, each level of production all the way. So it worked out. And I remember you saying it's a cold form of, uh, explain that a little bit for the layman, uh, his, his unique process. Well, we all, we've all grown a little tired of people using sulfur dioxide and tartaric acid to protect against oxidation when we know refrigeration would keep keep wines fresh or keep fruit fresh. So Yves Grassa um, took these horizontal stainless steel tanks into the vineyard and the moment the fruit was picked they were put into these tanks but at the same time we used dry ice to cool the fruit. So we didn't need to use um, chemicals or anything that we didn't want to put into the wine. We just used something very logical which was refrigeration. A lot of wineries can't do that or they don't invest in, in what's necessary to do that. And by refrigerating the grape juice and the fruit immediately, everything remains impeccable. We deliver it to the winery, we transfer it into the winery at the same temperature and macerate the skins, which is called skin maceration or maceration pelliculaire. You macerate for the flavors that are in the skins because grape skins have all the flavor. It's not the juice that necessarily has the flavor, it's within the solids. And so we protect that all the way and we bottle it early enough so we maintain 
the primary aromas of all the grape varieties. And so, as you saw today at the table, it was all fruit forward, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it had this minerality at the same time. So you're getting literally pure terroir, nothing else, no additional anything. It is a pure taste of Gascogne and and it's, it's beautiful minerals. Thank you. I congratulate you on bringing this to uh, the U.S. because I think this is a wonderful discovery for us in particular. And thank you so much for your passion uh, because you. it was exciting to hear you tell the story of discovering this for yourself from coming from a, a perspective of studying in Bordeaux and finding a new sort of uh, uh, a treasure that you've unburied here for us. Well, so we're thank very you. excited too. So thank, thank you, you very much. Introducing the Hamilton Beach Electric Stand Mixer. With its professional two-way rotating mixing action, it can easily make enough dough for up to four bread loaves or nine dozen cookies. Get high performance at a great value. Go to hamiltonbeach.com. Hey, this is Jennifer. And Chef Mark. From the Culinary Media Network. We've been on quite an adventure learning about tequila with our friends from Partida Tequila. And now we're sharing it with you in our special video series, On the Tequila Trail. Join us everywhere from the agave fields of Amatitan, Mexico, to cocktail sessions in San Francisco and Las Vegas. We learn how to sip, mix, and savor with the experts. So join us for a sip at onthetequilatrail.podshow.com. I did not drink all these bottles of wine. I feel like I did.